Hello once again everyone, and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to be making the Rat and Cat Theatre from the mini games in Five Nights at Candy's Free. So this one was actually a little different to other builds I've made because I had to go off of 8-bit versions of what this building actually looks like. So the colours are a little weird because it's based off of the 8-bit version of the map because this is the only time we see the Rat and Cat Theatre. But it is accurate to those mini games, so let's get right into it. So starting off, I've just got our doors here to show uh, where we're going to begin. So just pop down some black concrete and two dark oak doors like this. Uh, this the this side is going to be the inside of the build, and we're going to start off with a fifteen wide by no six wide by fifteen long hallway. So one, two, three, four, five, six out of purple concrete on the floor. This is how wide the hallway is going to be. And we're going to now go to the left of these doors by four. So one, two, three, four. So that should make six of the uh, 15 that we need in this hallway. The entire floor is just purple concrete. So let's go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then we could just fill all the space in with uh, the purple concrete. But we should also do the walling. So we're going to need to go around the whole space at the, in line with the floor with black concrete. Then we're going to go with blue concrete on the first layer. On the layer above that, we're going to interchange black and lapis lazuli blocks. So, black concrete and lapis lazuli interchanging with each other. Like that. And then the row above that is also going to be just some uh, blue concrete. And then once more a row of blue concrete above that. So, to recap, that's just one row of blue concrete. This checkerboard pattern with lapis lazuli and uh, black concrete, and then two rows of blue concrete after that. Uh, once we have this place sorted, uh, on this side we're gonna come in, in one with the walls either side. So we'll place lapis here, and over here I'm gonna place a black concrete because I think that's how the pattern would add up. And then. Along this back wall, we're going to uh, drag this all the way back down here. But we're not going to connect it here. This is going to lead to a different part of the build. We won't connect that. So let's just finish off the floor here and this wall. So once we've got all of this walling done, and again, don't fill in this and don't fill in the rest of this wall. Just leave it like this for now. Uh... We're going to place some paintings along this wall. So, we're going to need two 2x2s. Two and we're going to come in from this side of the wall. One, two, three. Then we're going to place that just like that so we can get a 2x2. Two two. And then we need to go another three. And then pop another 2x2 two two painting in. Just like that. Then we're going to continue down the build this way. So, for this part, nice and easy, we're just going to take this this hallway backwards by another 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then we can drag the walling, same as usual, across this. Uh, we're just going to need to line it back up with this part of the wall. Yeah, like that. Uh, for the sake of the exterior, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to place the blocks back here. Uh, we can do this off camera because it's just the same walling. So we're going to fill in this side and this side, but still not this side. So once we've got this part of the hallway done, we're going to make our first little area that actually has some props in it. So this is going to be a 13 wide by 6 area. So we're just going to bring forward 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Then we can uh, just connect this all together. We're going to want to go around the walling for most of this place. So yeah, we can go across this back wall now. So let's just take it across this back wall. And then we're going to make it go along by this way as well. 
across this wall. And then for this wall, for this wall, we're only going to go three blocks in. So one, two, three, and that's it. I'll leave us with a three block uh, hallway here. That's it. So let's finish off the walling and floor, then we can place the props here. So we've got it all built up like this now. So let's take some polished andesite stairs and slabs. Now I'm not sure if this is inaccurate because this was made in 1.14 originally. Once again, like the Pop Goes build, it's on my Xbox world and I'm copying from that. So if, the, if these are supposed to be black and not grey, I'm not too sure. But regardless, I'll keep them as andesite for the tutorial. We're just going to go against this back wall, go one block inwards, place an upside down stair, two slabs, and then another upside down stair. Then we're going to place two stairs facing into that to act as seating. Leave a two block gap, and we're going to make the exact same thing right here. Then we're going to make one more of these across this wall, one block inwards, so one block. Then we're just going to make yet another. But this one's got some stuff uh, around it. So first of all, we're going to grab a one by one painting. And that's going to go just on this second block of the table there. Next to that, we're going to place a white banner. And then above it, an item frame with some paper in it. And that's going to complete this part. So let's now move on through here. So now through here, we've got a 6 by 11 space. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And we can just, once again, go around this and fill in most of the walling. Now, there's a door going in this room that doesn't actually lead anywhere that we see in-game. And that's going against this wall, these two blocks inwards. There's going to be a door right here. You could just put some black concrete behind it, but all we know is that it leads to a staff room. So if you want to make a staff room for the build, then you could by all means do that. I do have one on my Xbox world, but I'm going to leave it out the tutorial since we don't actually see it in game. Now continuing along, uh, we're just once again going to go f one, two, three blocks inwards along this back part of the hallway for uh, a three block wide hallway like that. And then we can just fill the rest of this in. Now that we've made all of the walling and the floor for this room, all we got to do is place in the props. Starting with this doorway, we're going to just pop the iron door in and a sign above it saying staff area, then on a new line, uh, employees only. And that's what the sign reads in the game, I'm pretty sure. I think I copied that word for word. Now we're going to come to this side over here of this wall. Just going to come one block inwards and make a 2x2 two two polished andesite. We have two polished andesite slabs above it. And then iron doors like this to make a cabinet area. Now we have some paintings to pop. One of them just right by this cabinet, a one by one painting. And then one block distance from that, we're going to have a one by two painting in just there. And that's going to complete this room area place of the theatre. So let's move on to this space now, which is a little bigger. So for this space, which is a little bigger, we're going to need a 12 by 17 area. So 12 along this way, 1, 1 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, then 17 this way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. So that's the uh, base for this whole area. Uh, a lot of the walling can just be filled in as normal. The only wall we don't fill in as normal is here, because that's going to lead to uh, more of the Rat and Cat Theatre. Think of this place as like a big donut, basically. So you enter there, you go around here, and it's eventually just going to end us up back over there. So if we've got all the proportions right, that'll like add up perfectly. Now against this door, uh, wall even, we've got some doors going in. One block inwards, and then a gap, and then another block inwards, then another gap. And then two blocks there, and that's going to do it for this wall. Then there's a short area after this space. Just a uh, 6 by 4 So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 
and then one, two, three, four, and that just leads into uh, the next area, and the walls go inwards here, like, uh, like that. So, like it does over there, the walls go inwards here at that area. These are doors to the bathrooms, so I'm pretty sure you can't go in here in the game either, but if you want to add bathrooms to the build, you could always do that. But let's just fill in all of the space now. So now this whole space is filled in, we can get to placing all of the seating and tables around here. So starting off against here, we against this back wall, we've got to go six blocks in. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then on the seventh, we're going to start just uh, a table just like all the ones over there, with the seating just like that. Now, from there, we've got to go one block uh, further across the hallway and one block inwards. So right here is where this seating is going to begin. Oh wait, that's where the uh, chairs are going, that's not where the table itself is going. So the chairs are going along like that, and then in front of that we have the table which is this time one block thicker. So it's like two wide table now, still four blocks along though. And we also have chairs on this side for this table. Then, in line with uh, these end chairs, uh, there's going to be chairs for another table. Just three blocks apart, there's going to be chairs signifying that we're going to have another two wide table going in here. There's no chairs on the other side of this one, just on this side. And then from there, we've got just a smaller table from here, once again on this side of the wall, and it's actually just straight up in line with this block after the table ends and touching the wall, we've got a four block wide table and just one block thick. Then from there we have two tables in line with each other, so there's going to be a two block gap between this table and then the next two block uh, thick table. There's going to be chairs going there and also on the other side. And then there's going to be uh, another one two blocks away from this one. So let's place those two blocks like that. So that's the uh, spacing between these two tables. And we're just going to finish off this one. Then we're going to move over to the bathroom doors. So these bathroom doors, all we really have to do is... Uh, you can choose between Birch or Dark Oak. I used Birch on the Xbox version. I think nowadays I would use Dark Oak. Um, yeah, we just pop in the bathroom doors like that. This one to the uh, to the left says male. The one on the right says female. So in this order. And that's almost going to finish off this room. But we uh, have a few things to place on uh, this smaller table here. We're going to start by popping a weighted pressure plate there, and then next to that a stone button right there. There's going to be a lever going uh, this way onwards, and like that. So I think that's the lever turned on. And the, finally, just a polished diorite slab by the lever. So there we go, quick overview of this space. Now we're moving on over here. So we're just continuing this hallway along now. Ten blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then just over here as well, so that it's six blocks wide. And the uh the walling is gonna just continue along here, but not across there, because this is gonna lead into another part of the uh theatre. So we're going to completely leave this part of the wall open and we're, we can just fill in the rest of this. Before we move on from this hallway, there's just one little table that's going to go into it. And that's three blocks inwards on this side. So on the right, one, two, three. Then we got this fourth block we're going to place a table against. And we're going to surround it both sides with chairs. Four blocks wide as usual. Just like that. Then we can move on to this area. So this next space is 11 by 8. 
So eight across this way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then 11 this way. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. And that's the spacing for this area. Just got to connect it up. And we can fill in the walls normally except for this wall, which has one block inwards against uh, that part. And then if we bring this part along and we bring it over to that part of the wall, this part's going to go in free. So one, two, three. So that should leave us with a four block spacing like that. And we can just fill all this in. So now we got this space filled in. We're going to place in the props. Starting along here, we just got a four wide andesite table as usual with the uh, stairs, of course. Now we're going to need diorite blocks and stairs for the uh, there's some arcade games over here. So against this wall, we're going to go one block inwards, then place a two by two of polished diorite in front of it, two diorite stairs facing each other upside down. And then against this one on the left, we're going to place a sign that says whack a mole exclamation mark because that's the game that that is going to leave a gap and place a sign on the wall uh, that's going to say please don't hog it's going to say please don't hog the games share with everyone that's what it's going to say right there. And then next to that, we can copy that arcade machine just right here. And we're going to put the birch sign in the same place. It's going to say jungle-pin-ball. And then with a one block app, we're going to make almost the same machine yet again. But this time, it's going to have two diorite stairs facing each other like that on it instead. And it's going to say astro-pin-ball on it. And that will complete the arcade machine so that we can start on this room, which is going to be a 12 by 8 space. So let's just re-extend our hallway to be 8 blocks wide and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Just like that. Now let's bring this all around and then I'll just quickly show that ac across this wall there's going to be a door. So the door's going to be here, and that's going to lead into where the Night 5 minigame ends in the uh, backstage employee room. And then against this wall, we're just going to copy uh, what's over there. So that here that connects these two rooms together, we're going to copy that, and that's going to connect this area and the stage area together. Now let's just fill in the rest of this room. So all we got to do for this room is... Uh, Place a sign above the door that's going to say backstage and then once again an employees only. Then we're going to put a stone button there for when we build that area. Then we're going to have three polished andesite shelvings that are too wide. So one of them is just going just one block away from the door. Just two, three rows of upside down polish and size stairs facing each other and then there's going to be a one block gap and we're going to have another three and then we're actually going to have uh one second there we go right next to that we're going to have uh another three so these two these two ones are, are touching each other so like this and now we can move on to the stage area. So the stage area is going to be uh, 8 by 13 and that should connect us properly back over there but through the 13. So let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And that does properly connect us back. So if that doesn't connect like that then uh, be sure to go back through the video a little. See if you've made uh, a mistake. Because uh, it's it's adding up here, so I definitely haven't gone wrong this tutorial, thank goodness. Now, we can just connect the walling of this star area of theatre back over to this area, just like that. Uh, we can also uh, just bring this wall along. 
Now, there's part of the wall, this wall here, where the stage is going, that we, uh, we only want it to be on this side, one, two, three wide, and on this side, one, two. So that leaves uh, a whole space here for the stage to go. And we'll fill all this in in a second. We're just going to um, bring it back by three or four, three blocks. Bring it back by three blocks here. So one, two, three. And then connect it along to here. One, two, three. Yeah, so we can fill this in as well. So let's fill in this entire area. So we've got this whole area filled in now. Now, a checkerboard pattern here doesn't add up, so make it misalign like this. Just place two lapis lazuli blocks here, because once we place the curtains for the stage in, you won't be able to notice very easily that that doesn't uh, line up properly. So, we're going to now place, for the stage, a bunch of polished diorite slabs. We're going to go one outwards and uh, leaving a gap either side. And then this whole space is just going to get filled in with diorite slabs back here as well. Then we're just going to place in the curtains. So we're going to have three light blue walls either side like that for the first part of the curtains. Then we're going to go three above this block. And then above this block as well, another three. And we could add one there. And that's basically going to make the stage in the stage's curtains. And... As you can see, that kind of, like, disguises the, uh, fact that that doesn't line up properly. Now, on this side of the stage, we just need a 1x2 painting or 2x1 painting right there. And then on this side, a white banner. Then all we have to do is just place in some polished diorite seating, uh, in front of the stage. So, we're gonna start in the, um middle of the stage so one two going right there i believe yeah right there and then one block up one two and then one block up one two yeah and then here back behind it as well one two one two and one two and then yeah once more behind that one two one two and one two and that's gonna do the stage area so the final part of this build we actually have to make is the uh, backstage area from the final minigame. So let's go over and finish this build off. So this backstage area is going to be 8 by 7 spacing. So 1, 1, 2, 3, 4. Wait, or is it going to be 9 by 7? Yeah, it's going to be 9 by 7, my mistake. So that's 4 blocks either side this door. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. That makes 9. And then 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And we can just uh, add that all up. And we can go around this with the walling as usual. So, now all we have to do is just place every prop in this backstage area. Which it does have the most stuff in it out of all the rooms. We're going to start by just popping a stone button by the store so that we can get in and out. In this corner we'll pop a cauldron that's like a trash can. Then over here we're going to have a free, free long table with the chair right there. Now we're going to have another table, uh, this time four wide, right here. So one block from the cauldron against that side wall. Then in this uh, corner here we're going to have two stone slab blocks on top of each other. And then another one right there. Then we're going to use... From there, a 2x2 two two of polished andesite with one block gap in between these two. Put some slabs on top and then place the iron doors there. That's going to be the wardrobe that Mary hides in during the minigame. Right next to that, we're going to have a three block long table with a chair right there. Black concrete with stone coming off of it. And above that, some paintings. So, right above this black concrete thing, we need a one by one. And we need, oh my goodness, I'm not making this up, This, these two are the exact paintings I have on the Xbox world. So yeah, we just got two paintings like that. Oh wow, that's, that's crazy. Now we just need to uh, grab a few more things and we'll be done. So I'm going to get some white carpet, some black carpet, and a uh, 
weigh a uh, heavy weighted pressure plate and a birch sign. So we're going to use the black and white carpet on this table, just like this. That represents uh, Vinny. The, I'm pretty sure that's the name of the puppet. Over here, we're going to pop a weighted heavy pressure plate. And then right here, there's a diploma on the wall. And it says in the game, the diploma just says something about acting. So we're going to put a birch sign, and it's going to say di diploma, and then dot, dot, dot. And then down here, it's going to say something something about acting. We can also use white carpet on top of those two to represent uh, paper inside of the uh, filing cabinets there. And once we've done that, that's going to finish it off. That's going to finish off the uh, Rat and Cat Theatre build. So thanks for tuning in and building this. This was a pretty nice map to make. It was actually the first map I ever made. Like on my own without following a tutorial from someone else. Because I made the Pop Goes map after I made this one. I'm just now making the tutorials. So thank you all for watching. Um, maybe the next tutorial I'll have up will be the library from Can't Version 2. Because I know some people want more Can't Version 2 tutorials. And I'm more than happy to do that. So I'm going to see you guys in uh, the next video. It's Kalam Mikduf, the channel with rats and cat and swan.